All right, guys. So I uh, figured I'd share this with you. Saved me a saved me a lot of cold hands and uh, saved me a lot of time. Figure if anybody else would maybe get an idea from it, it might help them out. That'd be a reason for this this video. Uh, anyway, this is what I used to wash uh, mainly coyotes and fox. Anything fur out, but. Uh, don't have to be fur out if you got a bloody coon or something that's fur in it also works well for that this is my washing machine setup uh, I don't have running water out in this building so I had to come up with something something because middle of winter you get lots of cold hands out there trying to to wash off all those all that fur so anyway that's my setup here this is an old old hot water heater it's got a 110 plug and then down inside of it it's it's got a heating element down in there and uh, some guys are gonna scrap it out and I took it from them what I did was made it into into my washing deal real simple you uh, bring a hose from the outside once a week it's a 30 gallon 30 gallon uh, heater so you only have to fill it once a week Take it and I rigged up with screw hose in there, turn that valve, and we'll fill that that tank full of water. Now either you can leave it cool or cold or or hot, but it doesn't freeze out here in the building with the fire going all the time. Then what I did was I uh, I took a bilge pump out of a boat and I spliced in right there for uh, for your water for your washing machine just open that valve now since that's a bilge pump I needed some way of getting 12 volts to it so I uh, took this washer apart I tapped into the solenoid there that triggers once you once the water fill put me an outlet there plug my battery charger in there rigged up some clips here on the wall so now whenever you uh, Turn that thing to rinse cycle, that washing machine there. Turn it to rinse, that activates that solenoid, which turns that battery charger on. Battery charger, it turns on the bilge pump, which pumps water into your washing machine. And once it shuts off, solenoid closes and go through your rinse cycle. Now I had to have some way of getting rid of the water, so Got me a big 55 gallon drum here. Water gets pumped into this drum. And uh, wait till the drum's about half full or whenever. And I have me a second bilge pump here that uh, I'll use and just attach a garden hose to it. Pump the water right out of the barrel. You don't have to mess with it. Everything stays all nice and neat. But I didn't want to have to use two battery chargers, so I brought that over over to the wall again with some, some alligator clips. So whenever you need to pump water out of your your barrel, just take your clips and simply move them move them over there. That'd be the ground, but anyway, move them over to the correct positions, which you'd unhook your bilge pump for your water fill, pull the rinse cycle. Your water gets pumped out. It's easy. It works great. Hell, you can even wash your clothes in it if you don't feel like going inside or your muddy clothes from work. So, anyway, guys, I figured I'd just share that with you. Talk to y'all later.